Dacia claims plenty of room inside the springs, even with a rear seat that can accommodate two adults. A glove box, door pocket, and central storage box provide 23.1 liters of storage for the front occupant, with additional door chambers at the rear as well. For more storage, the spring gets a 300-liter boot, well above average for the city car segment. More relevant to urban driving than top speed is its maneuverability, an area where the spring promises an edge. The 4.8-meter turning radius is only 20 centimeters bigger than the Honda E, and should ensure that it is very easy to park. Spring will offer DC charging as an option, the 30 kW charger charges the battery up to 80% in under an hour. The 7.4 kW wall box fully recharges spring in 5 hours, 3.7 kW files the same in 8 hours 30, and it takes 14 hours to recharge via a standard plug. Dacia will also offer a smartphone app that will allow users to monitor the charging status of their mobile device, find cars in real time, and heat or cool the car in an air-conditioned vehicle. Up front, the functional dashboard is lifted from the Renault Quid. There's a blue trim highlight on the door and air vents all around, while the optional 7-inch touchscreen multimedia system, available with the rear camera, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, sits under the center vent. Additionally, among the additional cost features are air conditioning, electric mirrors and full-size spare wheels, while all-purpose electric windows, central locking and a 3.5-inch digital display between the two dials are all standard. Under the skin, Dacia has equipped the spring with a 43 bhp electric motor with 125 Nm of torque. It's paired with a 26.8 kWh battery, which official WLTP testing says allows it to cover 140 miles on a single charge, although this can increase to up to 183 miles in the kind of urban driving it's designed to do. No acceleration figures have been released yet, but Dacia claims a top speed of 78 miles per hour. Spring uses a 44 bhp electric motor powered by a 26.8 kWh battery. The claimed range under the WLTP's test cycle is 140 miles in mixed driving conditions, or up to 183 miles at city speeds. The eco button on the dashboard limits the power output to 31 bhp and top speed to 62 miles per hour to maximize the available range, whereas in normal mode the top speed is 78 miles per hour. Dacia has not released the car's acceleration figure. The charging time to 100% is 14 hours from a standard 3-pin outlet or 5 hours from a 7.4 kW home wall box, 10-80% fast charging can be completed in less than an hour from a public DC charging station. The free Dacia phone app gives you information on battery level and remaining mileage, as well as manages the passenger compartment pre-conditioning and helps you find the car if you forget where you parked. Inside, Spring gets the kind of straightforward, no-frills interior one Dacia's would expect. The brand promises comfortable accommodation for up to four adults in it with generous head and near space, as well as 23 liters of storage space at the front and a luggage capacity of 300 liters, increases to 600 with the rear seat lowered. Like the rest of the Dacians, the Spring is rarely equipped in its most basic form to keep prices low, but manual air conditioning, parking assistance, 7-inch multimedia and a sat-nav system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, adjustable power mirrors and spare wheels all feature, on the options list. With the exception of the smaller wheels, the production version of the Dacia Spring remains close to the look previewed by the Spring Electric Concept car in March 2020. This is basically a modified version of the electric car Renault KZ, which has been on sale in the Chinese market since 2019.